Well, there is very clearly a cycle of abuse um, and a cycle of violence. And, and children and people who grow up in violent areas and in violent families tend to normalize those behaviors because that's the only way they can survive. All of those things that happen to us in, in our younger childhood significantly affect us as young adults. And child maltreatment is a major adverse childhood event. This is a child who has hands that have been dipped in hot water. And at this age, it's very unlikely that this is something that this child could have gotten into themselves. The Child Protection Program started in 1985 when I joined the faculty at IU School of Medicine. And the program began initially when the State Board of Health asked us to help them educate people throughout the state of Indiana about child sexual abuse. So I started with the Child Sexual Abuse Clinic. That program has now evolved into the Pediatric Center of Hope, where we see children for medical evaluations related to child sexual abuse. We also provide some crisis counseling services to children and families. And then as we developed those services, there became we were able to then start to provide services around physical abuse and neglect, and the program has just continued to develop and grow. I love my job. Um, I think that we are able to help lots of children and families. We're able to help correctly diagnose child abuse when it occurs. Part of the expertise that we bring to the table is knowing when the rare injury is still consistent with an accident. Um, and you know, and don't jump to a conclusion one way or the other until we can get the best possible information. One of the, the notes that was very special that I received many years ago was actually a thank you note from a family for thank you for helping us prove that our child was being abused. Here's a case where a child has rib fractures that are being seen here and here, which are very subtle. But that's the sort of thing that we've trained ourselves to look very carefully for because a rib fracture is very unlikely to be an accidental injury. Mm -hmm. If they come in with any kind of bruising or they come in with a fracture, we will look at everything. There is so much knowledge and medical information around these issues. The Child Abuse Pediatrics is becoming a board certified subspecialty. So our role is medical, to make sure that we've looked at all of the medical conditions that, that, that could present and to make sure that we aren't missing any additional injuries. Well, the wonderful ultimate goal would be to prevent child abuse and neglect. The reality is we're not alone going to be able to do that. Our goal is to really improve the communication and coordination of services so the professionals working together with families have the best knowledge for the best outcomes for children and their families.